Wine has so many influences. It's the collaboration of land, water, weather, and human influences that converge upon the palette of individual taste and appreciation. Part science, part artistry, part nature, wine for thousands of years has connected mankind and civilizations on the journey of life. Great wines start in great vineyards. The perfect balance of soil and sun, moisture and meticulous management from graft to harvest, but it does not end there. The fingerprints of so many upon the content inside the bottle truly influence the appreciation of those who will eventually consume it. My favorite part of winemaking is, is definitely harvest. For two months I get to just be a winemaker, to bleed and sweat and cry into every ounce of fruit that comes through here to just put the maximum amount of effort into making the absolute best wine we can for DeLille. Located in Woodenville, Washington, DeLille Cellars has been carving out a name for itself the past 25 years. At its conception, DeLille's four founding partners, who could not be more different, formed a company that's leadership, much like the wine they create, is a whole greater than the sum of their individual parts. We had, uh, you know, a good 15, 16 year run with the four of us. And that was our foundation. When you got the four of us together, it was not the sum of four, it seemed to add up to more. You know, it just takes me back when I think that we've been doing this for 25 years. The DeLille name comes from our family history back in France where we were from the town of Lille. Founded in 1992 by Charles and Greg Lille, Jay Soloff, and a celebrated winemaker by the name of Chris Upchurch, these men set out on a course to honor their heritage, their community, and their craft. Each wanted to make great wine, and along the way, have made some great history as well. DeLille Cellars is considered a principal influence in establishing Washington State as a premier viticultural region. A pioneer producer of Bordeaux-style blends, the focus has been on showcasing the powerful, concentrated, and structured fruit through the European art of blending, not only through the combination of Bordeaux grape varieties, but also marrying celebrated vineyards to express the unique terroir of the region. In 1992, DeLille started with just two wines. DeLille believed that what set their wines apart was the blend, and in their mind, no one in Washington State was yet blending these grapes in the traditional style. And it was a unique vision because we were really the, you know, the first winery to really hang our hat on the, the blend of the wine and not just making Cabernet or making Merlot. The idea is not only to get the characters of each one of these grapes, but where the whole is the sum of the grapes, you're making a seamless, harmonious wine that is even more than those different components. Now we have a style at DeLille and we keep that style going. But that first decade and a half of the harmonious relationship of four of us being greater than the sum of the parts was how the wine was made every year. Because we make a very, very, you know, fine wine that's very collectible, we have very, very unique people that are big fans of our wine. CEOs of companies all across America, several presidents have served our wine at the, at the White House. They are revered by wine enthusiasts and wine aficionados alike. They are poured at special events, important moments of celebration, and even the family dinner table. That's the beauty of wine. It transcends many boundaries and palates. The three of us carry on the legacy that Charles and the three of us started. We're there when they're celebrating the birth of their kid or an engagement and all these really, really cool things. And I think maybe it's over romanticizing it, but you know, we're, we're delivering something that people enjoy and, and, uh, and that's kind of fun. DeLille winemaker Jason Gorski summed it best when asked about his passion and philosophy for making great wine. Honor the work of others. Honor the land. There's a lot of people that touch the vine, touch the grape long before it gets here in the winery. 
And I want to honor that tradition, that legacy, and that passion, that hard work. A methodical process from ground to grape, production to pour, that is in good hands every step of the way. You don't get into my cellar without passion. And after 25 years, I hope that I continue to have the passion that I had in the beginning. We're still making some of the highest quality wine we can because of the fruit we're sourcing, the barrels we're getting, the equipment we're purchasing, the team we put together in our staff and employees. I'm trying to make delicious wine in the style of DeLille to maintain that legacy and it's my job to be a steward for the short period of time that we have the wine here. Part of the reason why we have 16 different wines here is because we're having fun doing it. If we didn't like them, we wouldn't make them. For me, it's the realization of really my ultimate dream in the wine business. Creating from scratch, world-class, family-owned, small production, uncompromising quality wine that gives me an enormous pleasure. DeLille Cellars has produced a world-class portfolio, receiving over 400 individual 90-plus scores over its 25-year history. Robert Parker rated DeLille a five-star producer and bestowed upon them the title of the Lafitte Rothschild of Washington State. DeLille Cellars wines are the embodiment of nature and man, a testament to hard work, and the dedication to craft.